What's up, peeps? Right, so today we've got a little bit of uh, something different on the channel. We have a, a guide, almost. Uh, just something very simple, very basic. Just a few tips and tricks to help you improve your gameplay. Whether you want to deal a little bit more damage or you want to win a few more of your games. We're just going to go over some basic stuff. So, I'm going to try and cover everything, but it might not be possible. So here we have a little clip. This is not a full game, by the way, here on um, Secret Line. We are just doing a few things, showing you a few bits. So, here I get hit, and I notice there's a little bush. So, always try and be aware of where you're getting hit from. Try to return fire as much as you can. This is not always possible. I think he's moved here, so I try to shoot a different part of the bush, and he has moved. So we have a, a basic thing of World of Tanks, a little bit of side scraping. Here I am in the Centurion 1. I am not driving about in a Ragnarok because I am not going to sit here and preach about how you can become a better player by sitting in a completely overpowered premium tank. I am going to sit in something that is completely underpowered and forgotten about just to show you guys that you can play in any heap of dog shit and have a game. <laughs> So here I was just showcasing a little bit of side scraping for you all, and we found the uh, Capoda of the uh, the 110 there. Very interesting. Right then, guys, so we're on vineyards here. And first of all, you just want to take a quick look to see who's in your game. Can you spot any good players or well-known clans? And what are people playing? Have you got loads of light tanks that are going to provide so much vision that you can't even peek anywhere? Or is there... One shot tanks on the enemy team, are you top or bottom tier? This is all key information that you need to be taking in to make educated decisions within the game. Or try to at least. <laughs> so here, I'm pretty much top tier. There's only two tier nines. I haven't got a great deal to worry about. I haven't got a very balanced AVR is going to be staring at me the whole game. And I haven't got a Taran. So this is wonderful matchmaking for a tier 8 tank nowadays. So I'm just going to showcase as much as I can. I've got a few points written down in front of me here, but by Christ, uh, there's so much to this game that I don't think I'm going to be able to cover it in one video. So please do let me know if you'd like a part two, where maybe I cover something slightly different like map positioning, or even potentially I could do equipment and crews. There is a lot of videos out there already, however, they are not very informative and I wouldn't agree with them whatsoever in this current meta. Uh, some of them even are just downright incorrect and just misleading. But this is uh, the World of Tanks console community, ladies and gentlemen. You wouldn't be doing such things. So uh, a few things I'd like to cover is when you're in games, just have a little look about, you know. Have a look about. It seems kind of simple for me, but I'm sure some players are not doing it. And that is to be checking what are your teammates health. Is this flank going to drop? You know, how much is that, that tank that just got lit and what is it? You need all this information to try to make the best decision you can in battle. So you'll often see me in this replay, I'll be flicking my aim to one person to the other just to check and try to weigh up my chances of surviving or the play I do need to make. If you can spot a one shot tank and take it out of the game it could change the battle. So just try to be as aware as you can. Obviously as you improve you'll get better at this. Some players they can be very what I'd say is almost like pig vision and that is they see forward and only forward. If you dangle an apple in front of their face, they're going to be walking forward. Uh, and a lot of the time, those kind of players, they're easily exploited because they're not being aware enough. And that's fine. Not everybody is going to be amazing at the game. I understand that. There's a lot of casual people, and that's absolutely fine. This video is more intended to players that are willing to improve and willing to see other people's opinions. There's a lot of people in the community are not so like that, potentially and they only see their way and they believe that the TD should be on the red line and the light tank should be spotting 15 minutes every game um, when in actuality the light tank is back in the garage within 3 minutes and the game is lost 
to game knowledge. Be as competitive as you can. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure you're firing premium ammo. There's a lot of um, notoriety and potentially a little bit of um, even controversy with this kind of thing, but unfortunately this is a so-called free-to-play game. And with Cold War existing, you have no excuse. None. You can earn credits at such a high rate nowadays that you don't need to worry about this. You should be running premium consumables. You should be running food. Food is a huge buff. A huge buff. You should be only running fire extinguishers on a few vehicles. 215B is definitely one of them. Uh, so, yeah, try to make your, first of all, before you've even played the game, camo your tanks up. Be at the best advantage you can. Be on a level playing field with some of the players that will take advantage of you because you're being a cheapskate. Uh, some people might not enjoy hearing that, but I'm just going to give you a dose of reality that it doesn't matter how good you are, if you're not running premium consumables or you're not running the most, you know, souped up crew, you are not going to be as effective as you want. Uh, that is just the bottom line on that one. So, yeah. So, as you can see here, I just uh, relocated. Now, this is a huge part of the game. If you notice that there's seven odd tanks on one flank, and they're pushing, and they're not stopping, and you're on that flank and you're overmatched, just relocate. Move. You can be much more useful when your tank isn't a smouldering wreck, believe it or not. Patience is a huge thing. Now, being patient will win you games. Do not just sit there and you think, oh, I'm not doing anything, I need a push. You will be in the garage. You will, I promise you. So you always try and be patient. This will help your survival rate, which in turn will higher your win, your win rate because you're another tank alive. You're having an effect. If you're on 10 HP, it doesn't matter. Your gun still fires, so you can still turn the tide of a battle. I've had it happen so many times to me where I have just eaten it, and I'm on like no HP. But if you're patient and you play passively, you, a lot of players will overextend the one shots and you can just exploit that and use that to your advantage so one of my final points is I'm just going to quickly touch on uh, people's mentality when it comes to them particularly not taking ownership over their own mistakes so if you find yourself blaming your team more than you actually reflecting on your gameplay and seeing what you could have done better you will not improve at all if you sit there and blame old Joey or old Timmy who's seven years old or who even knows old Frank he's, a, he's, he's getting on 65 you know he's getting on the bus for free you're just not going to become better you have to be critical of yourself. The only constant in your games is you. So if you do have a game and you think to yourself, oh, well, I could have played that better, you know, that's fine. Go back, watch the replay, or think to yourself, that game there, I could have done better doing this. I could have got one more shot doing this. I could have avoided death if I made this play. Even hindsight is such a powerful thing. Sometimes you can't predict that old the is gonna come out the bush and he's gonna rack you. Some things are completely out of your hands, right? However, you can control the majority of it. And one of the most important things is this reflection. You have to be reflective. It's so important. And we have a bit of a uh interesting moment happen at the end of this game here <laughs> we get yoloed as you're about to see three two one 
and he comes along so here just just give him a good old love tap and he gives me the christian side hug only a granddad could ever give and uh we take him down there and we peek and and we had a lovely game there thoroughly enjoyed it's about as good as it gets for the centurion it has been so crept over the years it is a uh, sad state of affairs for the tank let's be honest so uh, we managed to finish top we added 5,000 odd damage there and we are very close to the gold mark so yeah thank you for watching this and we have a little uh, bonus clip here we have a very interesting situation where a brass takes no full damage this is because of a mechanic in the game where if a tank collides with a dead tank it will take uh, no damage at all this is just the way things are you know so this is me getting absolutely shat on have a lovely weekend take it easy pimp peace out and bye Da-da!